guys uh, welcome back uh, to aws cloud demos um, this is the part three of uh, api gateway plus lambda integration uh, uh, series so today um, in today's demo uh, we will uh, continue on the part two where we have created a lambda function a basic calculator function which will receive two operands operand one and operand two and then we will do a, a respective uh, calculation based on the input of operation all right um so now that uh, we have created the lambda function uh, what we're going to do is quickly uh, we're going to go back to the uh, api gateway and let's create a api which will uh, invoke this lambda function okay so um i have uh, the api gateway already um uh, if you remember from the uh, videos uh, we have created the rest api series um, and also we have deployed a, a sample uh, resource and a method previously uh, so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and uh, create a, another resource um, to invoke our calculator function okay um so before that uh, please guys please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and share um please uh, i would really appreciate it and thank you so much for your help and uh, uh, let's continue with the video okay um so select the uh, root resource okay and then uh, create a resource like so uh, i'm gonna name this something like math okay create resource and then select the math and go ahead and create another resource which is called something like operation and remember this is the path parameter that we have used previously like uh, like so because you can replace this operation with uh, something like add multiply uh, divide uh, or sub subtract in our case okay um so now go ahead and click on create resource and uh, the next step that i'm going to do is go ahead and create a method of type post because we're going to send some data uh, in the post uh, request so that um, uh, our lambda will be receiving the input so uh, if you go back to the lambda function again uh, you remember uh, our event needs to have this inputs operation uh, operand one operand two um, and then um, uh, and the operation okay so we're going to send this data from the api gateway um, so uh, if i head back to the api gateway uh, go ahead and uh, click on post okay um and then you will see this page go ahead and uh, use the lambda function that we have created which is calci in our case go ahead and save it like so click okay that's fine and there you go now you're in the method execution screen um okay so what we're going to do is go ahead and click on method request and check if your paths which is operation which is correct um looks like that is fine go back to method execution screen and click on integration request like so and then we will add the mapping templates uh, because this is where we are going to receive um, and transform the inputs from our api gateway and transform that the way that lambda expects us to send right so for example in this case uh, we are going to receive uh, operand one operand two and operation correct and if you go back to the api gateway so we're going to create a mapping template uh, which will transform the uh, input data into uh, the lambda expected way right so for this i'm going to create something like application slash json click on this little tick okay go ahead and now there you see um, you have this window where you can uh, edit the um, json data that uh, the lambda is trying to receive right um, so i'm going to create a uh, json uh, template okay which is a form because our lambda function expects an operation right and it's going to be uh, something like we're going to use a special syntax here that's fine um, for now uh, just uh, just enter what i'm trying to do here just do inputs uh, because our lambda is also expecting inputs right even dot inputs and now go ahead and enter the inputs which is of um uh, which is of type object and now we will use operand one which is of type number okay um so for this um i will uh, uh show you the syntax that uh, you need to enter here okay uh, for now just put the blank empty string and then you're gonna you need uh, operand two which is of type uh, and again a string all right um okay so this data looks good um so basically our lambda needs operation which we are sending it from here and also we are 
uh, we need operand 1 and operand 2 which we are sending it from here and is there anything that we need to send mm, inputs yeah that's inputs here um, yeah I think that looks good and now um, I'm gonna quickly Google um, the syntax that uh, um, we can use in the API gateway to transform that into a lambda expected format so what I'm gonna do is go to Google and uh, search for API gateway um, uh, path params um, lambda so if I go to something like this okay um, by the way you can follow the example here um, the example that I'm trying to explain uh, which is pretty easy okay um, so if I go to um, all the way to the bottom you should be able to see there you go uh, you can you should be able to receive the params like so okay so go copy the input dot params okay in our case we have um, the operation okay so now go to API gateway and paste the um, operation something like this um, input params okay and you should be able to receive the operation from your path params okay uh, I hope that makes sense and then uh, let's go to inputs now we should be able to receive the inputs okay um, for receiving the inputs right uh, you can use something like JSON um, uh, input dot JSON okay which looks something like this dollar input dot JSON and then quotes and then dollar dot num1 okay In the same way you're gonna enter the second one which is something like num2 okay so that's how you're gonna create a uh, transformation template uh, that transforms uh, your input uh, basically the num1 and num2 you, you might be wondering where this num1 and num2 is coming I'm gonna uh, show you in a second uh, so but for now this template will transform the data the way that lambda expects it right um, so now this looks good and go ahead and click on save like so and go back to the method execution screen and go ahead and test it okay I'm gonna show you how you test it so for example the operation is add for now okay I'm gonna do I'm gonna create my request body because this is a post uh, type of request remember remember you remember this right and now uh, I'm gonna do num1 um, okay I'm gonna put some number like 89 and then I'm gonna put num2 which is of value something like 43 okay this is just a random number you can try out anything that you want and the operation that I wanted to do is add this looks good and uh, basically once you're happy with this go ahead and test it all right so if you go back so basically uh, you got the response back uh, this is the expected um, answer which is 4889 plus 43 is 132 which is great and now you can try out different operations like multiply and go ahead and click on test you should be able to see uh, the answer which is the body and uh, 3827 in our case and you can also try divide and also you can try subtract on your own so you can see the divide answer and probably you can also try subtract as well um, and click on test uh, there you go um, so yeah um, so I think this gives a good idea on how I've created a um, basic calculator function uh, which will trigger the lambda function and uh, gives you the result back right um, in the next uh, part right in part four of api integration uh, api gateway plus lambda integration we will look into how we create models instead of uh, you know writing the um, template that we have created here in the integration uh, request so if you click on this one you should be able to see um, um, so instead of writing this we will select the valid data models so that you know you should be able to transform your data just by applying the model okay instead of writing this you can create a template okay basically so and also we will look into how to enable the course and also we'll look into the uh, gateway responses we will look into the documentation dashboard settings cloudwatch usage plans api keys and and we'll we'll look into these things in the in the future parts okay so for now um, that's the part three and on part four we will uh, convert that into models and then we will also enable course 
on the APIs. All right. Um, so now that you have uh, created this and also we will test this in the Postman to make this request. All right. So yeah, that's it guys for part three and I will see you guys in the uh, part four. Okay. And uh, uh, if you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share, like, um, and please, please, please uh, try and subscribe uh, to my channel. I will create more and more videos uh, because I love sharing. And thank you so much. And uh, I will see you in part four.